Hello YouTube viewers! Another toy review. And it's from my birthday collection update. Woohoo! I'm not telling you when, when my birthday is and no it's... Well, I'm not telling you and I'm not giving you any hits. You know, it could have been a week ago, it could have been a month ago, no, just kidding. Or it could have been. Or it could have been during the last update. I just didn't show the stuff. Oh! Well, anyway. So, as you see by the title, we are reviewing The Mighty King Ghidorah, a.k.a. King Ghidorah. Personally, and just normally, I love this figure. It's, it's quite amazing, actually. It's a lot better than what it looks. I mean, mine, the only really big problem with it, it seems that, like this side it's a little smashed in. This sticks out a little bit, but that's okay because it doesn't matter. It's probably the mold, and the wings seem a little loose too. Yet they are kind of heavy for the figure, so. Okay. Oops. okay, so let's get on to articulation. Well, as you saw, wings and legs. Both, well, all four through 60. You can make them walk. Of course, it'll look kind of bad because, you know, it does that. But that doesn't matter. Um, oh, and the tail, but I haven't broke that glue shield yet, and I might, might not, probably will. Just might be a while. And the heads also have glue seals. Uh, I don't know about those, though, really, except for I've seen dead zillas, you know, like, be able to pop off and stuff, so. Yeah. Anyway, so on to detail quick. Very quick. Well, not very quick. The detail is really, actually, amazing. I just love the detail. I mean, it's got some, uh, some highlights right in his chest area. On his wings, I, I didn't notice those in the other videos. They're like all across there, and I love the back of the wings. Wow, that that is something to eh. all collectors should not get this version and the 2000 version. I mean, Ultraman Chronos likes the dark color. Oh, which tag? Yes, he is a dark color, like he should be. But personally, because the games have him this color, and plus, I just like this golden. It makes him look newer. So he likes to fall. King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah. Some boring stuff. I do like this picture, though. It's actually kind of nice. Kind of like it, kind of don't. I mean, I would rather have it, like, looking forward at him, but that's alright. 104 meters and 7 tons. Woo! But overall, this figure's got nice details. The wings are the probably the best, best part. I mean, just look at that. How could you not love that? Jeez, this thing just won't stay still. This is a epic figure. This is just epic. Wow. And I like how in the light it makes it look like it's even got more wrinkles than it actually does. That's just amazing. The tail people say could use a little bit more work. I think the tails are just fine. I mean, now they could have been done a little bit better, but personally, I really don't care. Uh, the horns are tilted backwards, but, like, sometimes in the game the horns move, so when he's, like, facing at you like this, the horns look like they're going up. And then the side, the side thing should be sticking out a little bit, just a little bit. Of course, they would be, like, flimsy and stuff, and they would be able to break, so. They ha that's why they had to do that, I just realized that. Yes, these could be pointed backwards a little bit, but... I really don't care, actually. Most people don't like it as much, but I think most of the King Ghidorahs don't have them back like that. Except for Death Ghidorah. Not Death. Oh, sorry. Grand Ghidorah. But anyway, so, I really don't care for the horns. Now, because he is part of the repaint series, I just want to honor him by scaling up with all my repaint figures. And this figure, well, and two extras. 
Ya pudo. Nope, if he's supposed to be 104, not only is he supposed to be like this, that's about how big Godzilla should be, but he should be like this then. This tall to him. That's okay. Personally, I kind of I kind of actually like this scaling. I mean, he's small, yes, and he's supposed to be big like that. But I kind of like this, you know, they could team up against some monsters. Yes, he's still got his tag because... Oh, he's next for you. Alright. Here comes all my repaint figures. So, 04 Godzilla, like Deadzilla did. I kind of really don't care about his sizing too much. I mean, yeah, I would like it to be accurate like that. But, you know, I kind of don't really care for the scaling. They, they look good. I mean, if you actually want King Ghidorah to for once be, for once, be as tiny as Godzilla. Well, King Ghidorah. Of course, the Godzilla he fought. My second, no, my fourth favorite Godzilla. 90s. Um, again, I really don't care that he's not the actual size he should be. So, I wouldn't really care about how he's too small. I say this looks actually really good. I mean, just to add him into my Heise uh, collection, that that's just the best part. Kiryu. Uh, they're actually eye to eye, actually, so, again, you know, it's the same with all the figures that are supposed to be smaller. I really don't care. And he, this guy should actually not be 60 meters, he should be, duh, 110 or something. He should be a little bit bigger than Godzilla because he is, so. Just a little bit, though. Not quite too much. Of course, his mechanical, technically, brother, or his future self. Mecha King Ghidorah. Again, this is amazing. It's just that his heads are a little bit down. If they were just a little bit more up like that, that would have been better. But, you know, that doesn't really matter with me. They they look good. So, these guys do good against each other. And they look good as a team-up. My last three repaint figures. Jet Zega. Now, this could technically work. If you follow the games, you know, he can become really, you know, normal size, small, and really big. So, and his really big form is bigger than King Ghidorah, so if you want him to, like, grow to his gigantic size, then yes, this could actually work. So yeah, I'd say this would be good if you wanted to follow the games and have him rather be, like, that small, you know, and then have him go jing, 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 boom, and make him the same size then. You could do that, but I don't care about the sizing. This is actually gonna work, and it's gonna work, look really nice. Gigan. Now, on Gigan's tag, it says 120. Well, King Ghidorah is technically bigger. Well, smaller. But, you know, his heads are down, so if they're a little bit more up, like Mecha King Ghidorah's, he would be almost taller. So, I would say this is really good. If he's supposed to be 120, and yeah, they just look good to King And of course, the figure. The most bad scaled figure ever, Hidora. Now this is good. This is actually really, really good. Of course, it could probably be a little bit small like that, but you know, it really doesn't matter. This is perfect. I like it. I like it. I really like it, actually. Of course, under there. Oh, he could almost stand with him under him. That's how small he is. And my last figure, technically. And I just finished him. If you guys watched my update, you should know I have him. And if I only got three figures and one's on the way, it's still not here. But... Here he is. Von Nebula! <laughs> yeah. I really love this, actually. I would rather have him, like, 200... 300 meters rather than being scaled to Godzilla size, so he would be like that. I actually really like this, so. Well. So, overall, this is a great figure. I know pretty much half the time is scalings, but you know, this is just to honor him for being my newest repaint figure. Now, all I need is the Mothra 
the 54 Godzilla, the 86 Godzilla, Destroyer, Space Godzilla, 04 Rodan, and 04 Angiris. I think that's... I'm done. So this has been a review on King Ghidorah. Heise, King Ghidorah. And I'll see you guys later.